Welcome back to the channel. So we got ourselves a new purchase, bought a, an e-bike. It is a electric X-Peak. It is the high step model. Has the 26 by four tires, 750 watt hub motor, hydraulic disc brake, seven speed. I've had it for a few days. I took it out, rode it a little bit got a few miles on to kind of test it but today it is really nice out and I wanted to take and go on an actual trail I've been just kind of riding it on the road trying to get a feel for it a uh, little bit of information I've watched a couple other guys' videos with the step through the white model they're seeming to be having some problems with them uh, I haven't actually found any problems other than one while it was shipped this brake handle on this side which operates the rear brake it got a little dinged up and when I grab it it goes a little farther in than this one um, but if you pump it like you do on a car then you get a little better pedal or grip rather so I have to contact the company on that uh, other than that so far I like the bike it rides really nice so I'm gonna give you an honest review as I'm riding it on a trail today take into account though that I'm a first-time e-bike owner I don't have a, a much to go off of as far as comparing one bike to another so we're going to go ahead and get it loaded in a truck and we'll get back to you whenever we get to the trailhead. Alright, so we made it to the trailhead. Uh, other than the helicopter in the distance, a little quieter here. I'm going to give you a quick walk around the bike. I'm not going to show a whole lot. The reason is if you're already interested in it and you're looking for a review for this bike, you've already done your research. You know what the bike is about just like I didn't do an unboxing because I can't compete even with the company they did a great video on the unboxing the assembly and all that there's really no need I mean an unboxing is an unboxing right so let's go ahead and we'll give a walk around here real quick and then we'll hit the trail all right so I don't have saddlebags yet for this so the rack does come with it along with the rear basket if you get the package deal that they're offering. Uh, they also offer the upgraded headlight with this package. Uh, they do offer a front rack that comes out with a basket. And that seems to be the one of the main issues apparently with the basket on. It adds too much weight to the front and it does a death wobble. But so far from all of them that I have seen or heard about, it's all been the step-through model, not the high step. Uh, like I said, it does have the 26 by 4 tires. It has the RST Renegade fork. The battery, of course, is here. Like I said, I'm not going to explain a whole lot because you all, if you're looking at the bikes anyway, you've already done your research. One thing I will say though, I did swap out for my own seat. I like that seat better. I pulled that off my other bike. Uh, I just wanted to be able to go farther and go into a little bit better locations and explore a little bit more. Uh, now I will say if you are looking at these, this is the only information I have found. It's an R180L3B, not 100% sure what type of caliber uh up here on the, here the only thing it says i'm not even sure if this will show up on the camera is it says mineral oil so i am looking uh i'm always trying to prepare and find spare parts and the such and i was looking to see if i could find an extra set of brake pads keep them on hand but i have not so, yeah, and again, I didn't get a water bottle holder yet. I'm in the process of looking to try to find one that I like. So, for today, we got the water in, in the back here. 
I may leave this uh, basket on. I may take it off. I'm still undecided. But I am definitely leaving the rear rack on. So let's go ahead and we're going to mount the camera to the handlebars up here. Oh, real quick. So the power button. Fully charged. Like I said, you can see that I got 17 miles on it so far. It has your settings for your pedal assist, your speed. Uh, I did do a recording on the phone on one of my trips and the mileage did not match what this said. So I got to look a little bit more into that to see uh, whether or not which one's accurate. One thing I will say for my height, I'm five foot eight. This here, uh, the stem, I need a stem extender. I need to bring the handlebars up to get me in just a little bit more of an upright position. I'm not exactly in the best shape. That's why I got the bike to try to help me lose a little bit of weight and get around and explore more. So I'm going to adjust it accordingly to how it fits me. So let's go ahead and get mounted and get moving. If you stick around to the end, we're going to show a bonus uh, clip of this going up a fairly steep hill. So stick around to see the bonus. So the camera wanted to move here a little bit. <clears throat> Apparently I didn't have this quite tight enough. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of uh, a test to see how well this camera also does. See how well the uh, stabilization works. I don't care for wearing a chest mount for the camera so that's why it's mounted to the handlebars I've had the camera for a little bit but I've never really put it through this much of a I guess you can call it a torture test to see how well the stabilization really truly does work I am going around the mud puddles because this is water resistant and I'd rather not find out exactly or purposely put it into deep water. Alright, so here's the uh, trail. So we'll start here. We're going to go into Pitch Pine, then we'll go on to Vista and come back up through on the Little Bear. So my thoughts on this bike is I was quite impressed for an e-bike to be able to pull me around as I said I'm not the lightest guy I'm definitely not in the best of shape I'm a little bit on the bigger side but I am truly impressed of how well this pulls me around like I said earlier I'm new to e-bikes so I don't know if they're all kind of like this 
I do know that the hub drive is uh, more powerful but you're also going to wear out chains and stuff more because you're using the drive line to uh, also help you that's what makes them more powerful See if we can adjust this camera a little bit. Not only am I new to mountain biking, but I'm also new to the fat tires. And I will say that the fat tire definitely gives a comfortable ride. Looks like the trail goes up over the hill here. All right, here is our split off point. Now we're gonna get on to Vista.
This one's a little more out in the open. Oh. muddy coming through here. A lot of circle on back. One thing I forgot to add, these tires come pre-installed with slime in them. I will say my other bicycle has mechanical discs and these have the uh, hydraulic disc. First time again with hydraulic discs. They are nice.
another thing about this bike, I was kind of disappointed, but it's not a super big deal breaker for me at least, but someone else it might be. It does not have a uh, USB charging port. Like a lot of us, we take our phones with us when we're riding. We even use them to map out where we're going. Oh, I wasn't ready for that one. That one caught me off guard. So, being able to charge your phone while you're out here would be very handy. They may, later on, add that feature. Maybe they have a plug in place to do it. I guess time will tell. So electric, or electric, if you're listening, maybe that's something to think about on these. A lot of us use our phones to map out where we're going. Be a nice little feature. I can tell you already, I definitely need the handlebar riser. Because I am having way too much weight facing forward on my wrists. I do believe the gearing on this is pretty decent. Although, if you get into some really serious climbs, I think the low gear might just be a little high. If it wasn't for the electric assist, it would definitely be uh, way, way too hard to pedal up over a decent hill. Oh, she's a little muddy right here. Ooh, a little frozen. And 
and now we're hitting Little Bear. So instead of continuing down the Vista, which will get us farther away from the truck, by the way, we hit three miles, we're gonna go ahead and head up Little Bear. One thing that I think a mid-drive engine or mid-drive bike would be uh, you could have the assistance without the added speed. I will say, oh boy, Ooh. I will say that uh, <clears throat> there are times when I can use the assistance but I don't necessarily need all that extra speed. Oh boy, another one of these. Ah. Got enough of these out through here. The hand grips aren't too bad on this bike. Like I said, my uh, palms hurt a little bit, but I think it has a lot to do with too much forward weight. Oh, fresh deer tracks. Ooh, this is muddy. That was quite a climb back there. Almost had a spin out. I am grateful for the fenders on this, or I'd be covered in mud right now.
trail is getting a little slimy. Everything's starting to fall up. Alright, we're back to the beginning, so let's go ahead and we'll head back to the truck. Right now we got four miles. That's a big mud puddle to go through. Now, let's have a look over the bike since we got her all muddied up here. Yeah, we got her a little muddied up. Right there's the battery. 
Now the one thing that a lot of people was saying is these wires. Now I do agree, they are kind of in a, uh, not a very good area, but also I think you're gonna hit your chain ring before you hit the bat or they hit the wires. So I guess time will tell on that. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help me on my channel. And if you'd like to see the future updates on how this holds up and everything, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new one. So until next time, guys, see you around. Be safe out there. I forgot one thing. I guess it's pretty obvious. I should have added this, but I wasn't thinking. So here, let's show you this here real quick. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think you guys can see that pretty good. All right, so energy bar still actually showing full with 4.2 miles. Now, I wasn't doing a whole lot of pedaling, but I also wasn't using the electric a whole, whole lot. I didn't think so. I'll tell you, if this would have been a regular bike, I'd have never came up over that. I'm not in good enough shape for that.
All right, so I used the pedal assist five to get up that. Like I said, with a regular bike, I'd never made it up there. And when I got to the top, it was down to like maybe half on a battery. I should have showed you, but I apologize. There was that truck and kind of got to get turned around. Uh, till I got to the bottom, I was down one bar. And now I'll show you, it actually recuperated even that one bar. So there's 10 bars. Uh, I don't know the how long it will go on one charge. Uh, I'm not quite at that point where I think I can drain the battery in one go route. Uh, maybe later this summer, whenever I start, you know, working out a little bit more and, you know, getting more riding in, then I'll be able to tell. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you around next time.